Hi, I'm Angie. I want to welcome you to National Indoor RV Centers, where we specialize in the sales, storage, service, and detailing of only high-end, new, and used coaches. So basically, we do it all. Today I am super excited to show you the all new 2019 Newmar Dutch Star. This is a great year for the Dutch Star because it is a lifestyle change. So that means there's gonna be a lot of new features that I'll point out as we go through this video. One of the big features obviously is the new front and end cap. So that's really fun. Also we have three new exterior colors. The color that we're featuring today is the Velocity exterior. So you're going to see how beautiful that is, especially in the sunlight um, and this wind that we have today. <laughs> One of the things that Newmar does great is they always use BASF paint. So you have a beautiful paint job on the Dutch Star and they use the Diamond Shield to protect that front, um, the beautiful paint on the front of the coach. One of the new options on the Dutch Star this year that I think you're going to love, we're putting on, on all of our uh, stock orders for our Dutch Stars, is the 360 camera. So if you look up top, that's one of the many cameras that contribute or provides a 360 view on the camera. I'll show you that when I'm driving. You're going to love it, I promise. So another thing that Newmar does really well is they mount their windshield just like the rest of the auto automotive industry mounts their windshields. So it's very seamless, beautiful. They don't just use a rubber gasket to stick that in there. Here's another one of our cameras. This is for um, the, the side view of the coach. So when you turn on your left and right blinkers, you're gonna be able to see down the full length of the coach. So it's always nice to be able to see what's on each side of you. Then right here, some of you might remember this from last year. It's a little feature that they added. This is where we can put our handy dandy flagpole. So you just stick that right in there and you can put your flag there. You can fly our beautiful American flag or the NIRVC flag. If you're lucky enough um, to be part of our family, we'd love to have you do that. Um, also notice the beautiful convex chrome exterior mirrors. Those are internally controlled and heated. And you'll also get the little indicator for the turn signal in those as well. Then we have our marker lights here, our stainless steel kick plate, which is nice. And then we're moving on here to our front axles. You're gonna hear me say this a lot today, that the Dutch Star, in my opinion, is the biggest bang for its buck in its class. So here we have the 19,000 pound front axle. That's 2,000 pounds uh, better rating than any other coach in its class. The Dutch Star comes with 365 Michelins on the front and 315s on the rear. Now when I say 365s, I'm talking about the width of the tire. It's getting wider, not getting taller. So I like to think of it as a pillow. You can sleep on a little narrow pillow. It'll be kind of comfortable. Or if you want a big wide pillow, then you're gonna be very comfortable. So it's just gonna you know, give you a better ride. This Dutch Star sits on the XCR Freightliner chassis. You also have an option for the Spartan chassis for an additional charge. Now this particular chassis, we have the independent front suspension and you have up to a 60 degree wheel cut. So that's gonna make this very easy to maneuver and you're gonna have less backing up, which is something I really like. That's, a, that's the thing that I like to do the least. So something that Newmar does really well is they pay attention to the details. So right here, we've got our dual fuel fill for our 150 gallon tank um, on the Dutch Star. Now, right behind this, obviously is gonna be where the fuel line's gonna run. Newmar protects that fuel line with a steel encasement knock on it there so that any debris that's coming up from the road or say you have a front end blowout which we don't even like to talk about but it happens it happened to one of my customers that they were driving a different manufacturer's coach and there was no protection there and they actually blew out their fuel line so it's just another thing safety Numer's always thinking of those kind of things here we have our marker and docking lights and then we've added the option of the beautiful stainless steel chrome along the bottom of the coach here. Another new feature that's standard for 2019 is the chrome baggage door handles and locks. And you also have the keyless entry pad with the doorbell. And on your little key fob, you can lock and unlock your cargo door. So that's really nice. Here we have our Dometic freezer and that's on a nice pull-out tray and that extends 
well beyond your slide. Look how far that comes out. So you can easily open that up. So you can make this a deep freeze or you can use it for just your drinks. If you're tailgating, you can, you can set the temperature. And you also have a 110 outlet right here at, in the freezer compartment. Next we have just another pass-through storage for, uh, space here. There's no tray, so that gives you lots of room to put all your items. Here is the pass-through tray. So this is an option that you can add when you order the Dutch Star. Most of my customers do this. We always put it in our stock units. So you can just simply pull that out from the passenger side or from the driver's side. Notice the flush mounted slide rooms. So you're not gonna have an extra lip that hangs over the side of your coach that's gonna add to wind noise. Um, it's gonna make this very quiet. Also, people ask me all the time, do you do slides out, jacks down? Well, this is how you need to do it. So when you're at ride height, your box is square. If you'll notice, there's less than a finger distance here, so it's very tight. If I put my levelers down and then try to take my slides out, they're gonna just be off a little bit. So you could easily rub at the top or the bottom. So again, you wanna extend your slides, then put your jacks down. When you go to leave, you do it in reverse. Jacks up, slides in. In this compartment, we have a large um, storage tray. This just comes out on the passenger side. So it basically hits the wall back there, but it's nice and big. This is another option that we always put in our Dutch stars because I just think it's nice and handy. You're not leaning in to try to reach your, your stuff. It's easy to get to, very accessible. Here we have the outlet for our central vac, and you can also plug that in out here as well. So you not only can you clean your baggage area, but you also can pull your car up here and then vacuum out the, the, your car as well with the central vac. So, Great feature, glad they added that this year. Here's the 110 outlets, and then your Girard awning controls there. Here we have our um, pegboard. So you can put tools in here, you can store extra DEF, your diesel exhaust fluid, um, oils, whatever you need to, but it's just great that Numar gives you this space um, to work with. I wanna make sure I point out the cross members here. This is part of the Star Foundation, which is uh, Numar's strong, true, and robust foundation that they add to the chassis. So this is going to add rigidity and stability, so you're not gonna have the twisting and torquing of your house. Another thing that's unique to the Freightliner chassis is it has the V-Ride suspension. So basically what that is, is two V-Rods that attach to the rails, and then they go to the axle, and they work hand in hand with Numar's Star Foundation to give you the best foundation for your home, which is what we all want, right? We want a good, strong, durable foundation. So it's gonna give you a much better ride. You're not gonna see the leaning that you might see with other um, coaches in this class. One of the things that I love about Freightliner is that they're part of the Daimler family. So what does that mean to you? It means that they get the research and development and technology that we have worldwide, they share. So an example of this would be the OptiView dash that I'm gonna show you. That's the new digital dash. It's the same dash that you'll see in the Mercedes S-Class. Another thing that they use is SAC shocks. You find these on Mercedes-Benz, Rolls-Royce, Maserati, so high-end cars. You also have it in this high-end coach. So the SAC shocks coupled with the independent front suspension, the STAR Foundation, and the V-Ride, it's going to make this basically a world-class ride. You're not gonna find a better ride in the industry. Here we have what Numar terms their passive steer tag axle. They use the term passive steer as sort of a generic term to, for both chassis. Freightliner calls this their ultra steer uh, tag axle. So what this does, you can see that it looks just like your front axle. I like to call these uh, like belly buttons. I know it's silly, but it's easy to see. Um, Audis and Innies. So it matches with the front. So basically the ultra steer tag axle gives you a 12 degree um, sharper turning radius. So what does that mean to you? It means from curb to curb, you're gonna be able to turn 16 feet shorter 
that's huge in a 43 foot coach. And here between our tires you can see our hydraulic leveling jacks. Those are just push button, they'll level um, your coach very easily. Here's our DEF tank, so that's diesel exhaust fl fluid. You'll hear it called DEF or DEF, and you know what it is? It actually is just ammonia and water. So it's 32% ammonia, 68% water. Now you can't mix it yourself. If, uh, the, if the engine detects that it's not good DEF, you'll get a, a warning. And eventually, if you keep putting bad DEF in your tank, it's gonna derate your engine. So DEF, uh, is used at a rate of 50 to 1, so for every 50 gallons of fuel, you'll use one gallon of DEF. Another thing that DEF doesn't like is light or heat. So if you want to carry DEF with you, just make sure you keep it where it's you know dark and it doesn't get too hot. Here's our chassis battery compartment. We also have the disconnect switch for our chassis batteries. This is important. If we're not lucky enough to have you as one of our storage customers at National Indoor RV Centers, when you store your coach, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you turn off your battery disconnect so that you don't have any parasitic draw on your chassis batteries. As I told you before, the Dutch Star sits on the XCR Freightliner chassis with the 450 Cummins engine. So what does that mean to you? It means that you can tow 15,000 pounds. So basically you can put your uh, Jeep, which is gonna be about 4,500 pounds, and you can actually buy that Jeep from National Indoor RV Centers now. Um, you can tow that behind this coach and you're not gonna fill it at all. Now I want you to notice on the Dutch Star, the unique shaped tailpipe. Most tailpipes that you're gonna see are gonna be just the round, regular looking tailpipe with that concentrated heat, that can be like 500 degrees coming off your coach. That can easily burn your toes, your leg, your pet, or your tow guard. So what Numar's done is they put this different shaped uh, tailpipe here and it diffuses the heat. So it's not that strong, powerful heat just coming right at you. You still wanna you know, be cautious around it, but it is a much better design. This is where you plug in your tow vehicle whether it be a stacker trailer or you're just flat towing your car. Notice up top of the coach, we have our rear view color mon monitor camera. So when you're with audio, so when you're in uh, reverse, you have one way audio. What I'm saying out here, the driver will be able to hear inside the coach. And we also have another camera here. This is for our 360 camera that I've talked about. Here we have our wonderful 450 Cummins engine. And we've got, this is very, it's really nice when you have a rear, uh, side radiator because everything is very accessible here in the engine compartment. So this is where you would um, refill your coolant for your Oasis, check your transmission fluid, check your engine fluid, fill it. This is your power steering fluid. And we have our coolant here and the little globe is over here on the side. We have our air minder that we can check right here, our air filter, and we have our block engine heater here. So you just merely plug that in if you need it. Like I've said before, if you need that block engine heater, you're too far north and you need to head south. Go to the beach. To make it really simple as far as maintenance for your engine, I have just a one, two, three rule. So one, change your oil filter and fuel filter. Year one, year two, make sure you change that air filter and year three, your air dryer. The Dutch Star comes standard with the side radiator. This is great, obviously, because you have access to all your engine compartment, but this is gonna bring in the ambient air, so it's gonna be cooler than the air that's coming off your engine to cool your radiator fan. And that's gonna make it less taxing on your coach and give you more horsepower. So we also have the emergency egress door. Numar's attention to detail, we, we see it here again. They give us another safety feature, another way to exit the coach if we need to in an emergency. It's really nice, it opens only from the inside so you see no handles so they kind of try to make it as seamless as possible. Opens from the inside and there's a telescoping ladder that comes down, very easy to get out of and you can use it multiple times. It's just not like a one-time use. I think there's other uses for it as well. Um, hopefully you never need it for an emergency but you can also use it to load and unload your coach. Um, you're gonna be going into your rear uh, master bathroom here where your closet is so it's an easy way to hand up your items to your spouse and not have to walk the length of the coach every time. 
Over time, you may get a little bit of debris on the fans of the radiator here, so you can just take a garden hose, put your thumb over it, and you can gently wash that off, which is, you know, will help maintain your radiator. Don't do use a power washer, though. That's too strong. We also have our dual fill for our DEF tank here. Here we have another docking light. Those are nice and big. They're really going to light up the campground as you come in. You're parking your coach at night. It's amazing how rocks, tree limbs, picnic tables will jump out and grab your coach. So this is really to protect your coach. And we've got an extra little compartment here for our stinky slinky or sewer hose. So that's nice. It doesn't have, it doesn't have to be um, uh, left in your wet bay compartment. So it keeps that nice and clean and you can store that in here. Here we have our wet bay compartment. So everything is nicely labeled as you can see. And we have our power hose for our, our water, which is really nice. And we have our full house water filtration system right here. This is where our autofill is. So if you're at a park plugged in and you've got the hose connected to your coach, you're gonna always stay full. We've got a place for our paper towel holder, which is nice. I like to be able to clean up after I've done the dirty work. That's why this shower is nice as well, so you can easily wash your hands or wash off um, your furry friends or your kiddos or grandkids before you go into your beautiful coach. Now we've got an A and a B switch here. If we're, again, not lucky enough to have you as one of our storage customers and you need to winterize your coach, then you can follow these directions here. And we have the SantaCon system, the RV SantaCon system on this coach. Here's the button for that, your sewage rinse, and then we've got the RV SantaCon. We also have a gravity dump as well, so you've got options. Here is the 50 amp shore power cord, and that's on a power rewind reel. If you're in a campground, if it's cold and you're trying to um, wrangle that hose, gets really heavy and messy and dirty. I also like to just take a, a rag as it's going back in. I'll usually hold that around the cord and kind of wash it off as it goes into my bay. Then we have the SureGuard automatic transfer switch here and then we've got our coax cable hookups here. So we've got a cable, SAT1 tripod, SAT2 tripod. Here's our Oasis hydronic heating module. So this is for your on-demand hot water and your furnace once you drop below 40 degrees. And I'll talk more about that when we're on the inside of the coach. I get asked this a lot, what is this um, exhaust for? This is for, from your Oasis on-demand hot water and furnace system. Up here we have our security lights, another camera that is one of the cameras for the 360 bird's eye view that I'm gonna show you. And then we have our marker light. And moving along, I want you to notice as I open these doors, they're on a slipper hinge. So they drop down, which gives us easier access to these compartments when our slide room is out. So it just gives you a little extra space. Here we have the other side of our pass-through tray. So again, I can extend that all the way out on the driver's side, which is really nice. Then we have another, this is a pass-through without a tray, so it gives you a little extra height because you don't have that drawer in there. And then we have our eight AGM batteries. And they are on a little pull-out tray. So you just easily take those pins out. It's heavy, <laughs> but it does easily slide out. So if there's any maintenance or if you need to change them, you can easily access those. At National Indoor RV Centers, we always order our coaches with the all-electric option. So that gives you the eight AGM batteries versus the six um, regular batteries and that helps power your uh, residential refrigerator. Here we have our fuel fill from the driver's side, our marker lights, docking lights, and again our 19,000 pound front axle, our 365 tires, Michelin tires, and again I'm wearing what five inch heels and it's still the tire comes up to my waist. Here's your driver's side camera and your marker light. Here we have our exhaust pipe. I know it gets confusing. We have a lot of exhaust pipes. So we have the one for the engine, we have the one for the Oasis, and this is the exhaust pipe for your generator. And behind this door, we have the uh, pulse 
latch, the T-latch for the generator for the front cap to open up. And then we have fuses here. So if you're losing power inside your coach up front, you're gonna look at these fuses here. And one of the things that Numar does that I just love is they give us these spare fuses. Again, they're mounted nicely here, they're labeled, and I don't have to go look for a Ziploc baggie somewhere in the coach, because that's where they'd be if it was left to me. All right, I've mentioned a, a Numar's attention to detail. Um, the way they mount their windshield, the steel um, protection for your fuel hose, Another thing that they do is they mount their AC unit right to the rooftop. Other manufacturers mount it to a pan. Well, if it's raining or if there's a high, high humidity and you have a lot of condensation from your air conditioner, then you're gonna have runoff. If that pan fills up and runs over, it's gonna be running through the vents inside your coach. What Numar does, they mount it directly to the roof and then it's just like your house. You've got gutters that run all the way around the house of your coach and so that condensation is going to run off to the gutters usually the four corners it will end up so in each corner of this coach you've got an internal gutter so that rain the rain or the condensation is going to run down inside the coach and out the bottom so you're never going to have those un unsightly water stains that you see on a lot of coaches again Numar does this beautiful um, paint job. I don't want to see water stains coming down the side of my coach. Just another thing that they do that's a little bit different and just, you know, speaks to the high quality of this coach. Now, if you happen to see water running down the side of your coach, which it shouldn't because we had those internal downspouts, um, it means that probably your downspout has been clogged. So you can take an air chuck and just blow up air through the bottom of that downspout and it should clear the clog and then you shouldn't have water running over your coach. Because again, like I said, we don't wanna have those unsightly water stains on this beautiful paint job. So since I'm talking about paint, does anyone know how Numar does its painting process? I thought it was pretty interesting the first time I saw it. So first of all, they do three base coats. Then we've got four colors on here and they do two coats of every color. So you look at your smallest color section, they're gonna start with that first after the three base coats, paint the white, let's say it's the white color, two coats of the white, and then they'll go the next color, two coats of that, mask it off, the next color, two coats of that. So let's start adding that up. So we have three base coats and then we have four colors on this coach. So times two, that's gonna be eight coats. So three plus the eight, we're at 11. Then they do three coats of clear, and then they do cut and buff on those last two coats. So you really have like 13, 14 coats of paint on this coach. So that's why when you run your hand down the paint job, you're not gonna feel the transition from one color to another. All right, moving on to the front. Again, notice the new style of, front, of the front cap. And I've, I'm just gonna take my cover here and secure it. Now, one of the great new features for 2019 is the fact that the generator pulls out. So those of you that like to do your own service, you're gonna find this really handy. So you just have to find, it took me a while to find the T-bar, but they've marked it with an A for Angie. I'm sure that's what it means, right? <laughs> so you just pull that and then it easily slides out. So now you can easily get to your generator here we have the 10,000 watt generator. So this comes standard now on your 40 foot and 43 foot Dutch stars. If you happen to trip a breaker, which you shouldn't do because the 10,000 gen is plenty to run all your appliances and everything inside the coach while you're going down the road. But if it does, you're gonna pull over and this is where you would reset that breaker. And you can also see the total hours on your generator here as well. We have our air horns here and then our wussy horns here. We have the hot water line to the generator. This is an option that we always add at National Indoor RV Centers. So you can just hook your hose up right here, turn this, and you're gonna be able to have hot water to wash off your windshield, get rid of all the bugs, because we don't want them to eat through our diamond shield. And there's plenty of room for you to turn that. I've had some um, customers that were worried about that they, they had enough room to get their hand in and turn that, so you can easily do that. Here's a connection to your airline. So again, if you need to um, fill up a tire or if you need to um, you know, hook up a line and, and wash out the, uh, the downspouts, uh, 
because they've clogged, you can hook up to this as well. And back in this very, very far corner, you can actually see the downspout um, and where you would hook that up to clear that line if you needed to. This is the uh, fuel filter for your generator. So here's the AC unit for our dash AC. So right below the dash. And then we have our hydraulic um, system for our HWH hydraulics full wall slide and our levelers. And this is the reservoir for the HWH system. To mention Numar's attention to detail again, I wanted to talk about how they mount their slide toppers. They mount their Gerard slide toppers to the side of the coach versus the end of the slide. So what that does, you can see up here that it makes that slide topper nice and taut. You're not gonna see that sag. If you look at a lot of other manufacturers, you're gonna notice that the slide topper is sagging a little bit. If it sags, what's gonna happen? When you go to bring it in, it's gonna bring in some leaves and debris with that. Also on those Gerard slide toppers, you have little bristles so that as that taut slide topper comes in, it's gonna brush off all that debris so it's never gonna end up in your coach. Again, the Dutch Star, the biggest bang for the buck. One of the things that you can add to this is the power window awnings. So just with the push of the button from inside the coach, you can extend those. For your Gerard awnings, you have the remote control, which is nice. So you have, you can, we've got two Gerard awnings with the Nova pitch on this coach. So you can bring them out one at a time, or you can bring them out both together. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring them out both together. I'm gonna put it on zero here and extend. So now that they're fully extended, you can see that extra Nova pitch adds a lot of shade. And now with our remote control, we can just simply turn on our LED lights too. It gives a little ambience. Now that we have our awnings out, we're ready to hang out for the evening. We want, might wanna put on some music here. We've got our Bose sound bar. And here we have the Sony 4K Ultra High Def TV. And tilt it to whatever direction works best. And we have two 110 outlets here. And then we have the controller for the Bose soundbar. So for TV or on and off. Now that we're back at National Indoor RV Centers, I wanna take you inside this gorgeous coach. First of all, before we step in, we're at the 4369. So the 43, for those of the, you that don't know this, with Numar, that means that's the length of the coach. 69 is the floor plan. Now there's a couple ways that we can get, in, get into the coach. Obviously we have our keys and we have our key fob so you can lock and unlock right from here, which is nice and handy. You also have your keyless entry. So I can lock the coach and the cargo bays right here from the pad. I can set my own unique code so that I can let in a service technician, uh, the grandkids, a good friend while I'm away, they can get in my coach if I want them to. And then of course, one of my favorite things that Numar adds is the doorbell. So I really like this feature, especially when I have customers here at National Indoor RV Centers that I'm going to visit. I wanna make sure they hear me when I come by to see them, so simply hit that doorbell. Now, I want you to notice the stainless steel kick plate here. This is really nice because if you don't have that, you're gonna have uh, scratches on your paint there with any, if anyone's shoe hits it. So as we go inside, there's a couple new features. Now this is really a bigger deal when you're inside the coach, but Numar has changed their screen door. So normally you'd have to open the little plexiglass panel to get in. Now you can just simply, you've got a handle on both sides so you can get in and out of the coach without opening that, which is nice. And before we even walk in, we've got these straight, great storage compartments one on our first step and then our second step is twice as deep so you can store shoes there especially if they're muddy you want to keep your coach nice and clean or dog leashes dog treats a couple ideas there let's go ahead and walk in and then we've got great assist handles so one on the left one on the right even your grandma's going to be able to get into your coach these are really great and and very helpful when you're getting in and out of the coach right when you walk in the front door you got your patio light, so you can turn that on and off. It also lights up the, the stairwell here. 
And then we have our cargo unlock and lock. And cargo lights are right here as well. And then we have our battery disconnect. So if we wanna turn off everything when we leave the coach, you can just hit that when you exit and then turn it on when you come in. Here we have our nice little storage compartment in the Dutch Star. And we have our Sony 4K 43 inch uh, overhead TV. This is an option in the Dutch Star. We always put it in our stock coaches. And then we have this cabinet here which is kind of the power control center of the Dutch Star. So this is our inverter. This is where we can turn this on and off. This is also where our automatic gen start would be and we can set that so that um, our generator will auto automatically start. If our batteries start to get too low, it will turn on, charge it up, and then go off when um, it's been sufficiently charged. Here we can see the readings on our fresh gray and black tank and our house and chassis batteries. So that's really nice and easy to see. We have our over the air antenna, so you simply would turn that on. It's going to um, look for stations and it will lock on, it will let us know that here in the campground, we can get 17 stations. We have our travelers satellite, so that means that we're gonna have the high def um, satellite dish for direct TV with this particular unit. Driver's side security lights, passenger side security lights, I pointed those out on the outside of the coach. This is our engine block heater, so if I have that plugged in in the engine compartment, I can turn that on from here, start to warm that up. Our exterior step, now once I'm at the campground, I don't want that step to go in and out every time I enter and exit the coach. It's just gonna you know, use that motor more than it needs to be used. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit that down so that the step will stay extended. And then we have our exterior LED lights and our lights that are below the slide on the passenger side, which are now standard on the Dutch Star. Our uh, in and out controls for our off door slide out and our door slide out. And then we have controls here for our Oasis burner, which again is our on-demand hot water and our furnace when it drops below 40 degrees. We have the controls for our power awnings. So this is another huge bonus that you get in the D Dutch Star. This is an option. So we have our power entrance door awning, then our entrance door light, our living room awning, and then our door side living room awning, all powered. And we have another control here for our Gerard awnings. I used the remote when I did them outside, but you can do them right here from inside the coach. And this is the energy management system for the Dutch Star. So this now comes standard as well. And this will basically monitor the, the, the energy coming into the coach. If you're using more than the coach can support, it will start to shed the load. We'll turn off the rear AC first and we'll kind of do a countdown and, and shed that load so that you don't overtax the coach. You're just gonna love the comfy Flex Steel um, co-captain chair and captain chair. Really, they are so comfortable. This ultra leather is nice, nice and soft. It almost has a little bit of a suede feel to it. Um, very pretty. So the whole coach is Flex Steel. Now you have this great little tray here. So if you're going down the road and you want to work on something, have your iPad or look at your magazines, this is nice with a little spot for your drink. And that just tucks back away. Right here to the side of me, I've got my drink holder and then I have my ceiling light. So I can turn that on and off. My step cover, of course, I don't want to fall down in the stairwell here when I go to get up while we're driving. So I put that up and that's nice and sturdy. And then I've got my visor that I can control. And my map light. And then a great new feature that you will really love is that I've got a wireless charging pad for my, my telephone right here on the passenger side and there's one of the driver's um, dash as well. You also have another USB port right here. So you have two right there and two up here in your 110 outlets. Light controls, I can hit these as soon as I walk in the coach. If I hit the two top buttons, then I'm gonna get my runway lights all the way through the coach. And when I go to leave, if I wanna turn all the lights off, I don't have to go around to each panel. 
I can just hit these two bottom buttons and it will turn off all the lights in the coach. Gotta love that. All right, on our chair, we have lots of controls. So we can just move it forward and backwards. And then we've got, we can move it down. If I'm a little bit shorter, don't want my feet to dangle, I can move my front of my seat down or up. And same with the back, up and back. And then of course, my favorite button of all, Ah, the foot rest so I can sit back and relax and enjoy this beautiful ride. And another bonus, you have heated seats. So for me, I love that because there's always an argument about too hot, too cold. If I have a heated seat, all is well. <laughs> I get asked this question all the time by my customers. They wanna know how we turn around the captain and co-captain's chairs. So there's a little lever right in the front of your chair and you just pull that open and then you can easily watch your tray here. And now we have two extra chairs for our living room and you can recline. And again, really relax and visit with all your friends. Welcome to the beautiful living room of the 4369 Dutch Star. Now we've optioned this coach with the two optional recliners. That's been a big hit. You can do the standard sofa here, sofa, sofa, or you can do the recliners with the, the lamp table, which we really like. It's been very popular. Whenever we do the recliners, we always have a fold and tumble sofa across from that. And I'll demonstrate how that works in just a little bit. Now, a great feature with the recliners is that they've put the televator button right here. So I can easily just hit that little button and my TV's gonna go up there. We have the Sony 4K Ultra High Def TV, and it is 49 inches. Now, another nice buttons that they have is they've got reading lights for both the recliners. So, reading light here and reading light there. Just simply press that. So that's really nice as well. And then obviously the recliners, they have a little lever to the side. Once you get it here, you just push it back and just try to stay awake. <laughs> Like I said, whenever we order the two recliners, we always do the fold and tumble bed across from them. So you can see I've aired this up. This is a nice queen size bed. So you can easily have two adults or a couple or few grandkids. In the 2019 Dutch Star, they've totally changed the valances. So no more do we have any kind of fabric or leather. They're just the hardwood. I think they're beautiful, very classic. And I think this will stand the test of time. We've got the Bermuda glazed cabinets in this coach with the Velocity interior and the new floor for 2019 as well. Again, notice that storage all the way overhead cabinets above the driver's side. And then we have the booth dinette. So it's about 50-50 National Indoor RV centers that we have about 50% of our customers want the booth dinette and the other 50% usually want the combination desk dinette. So we can order it either way. We went ahead and went with a booth on this particular unit. Booth is nice and comfy. What I really like about it is that I can just sit here and watch while someone prepares me dinner. I'm not sure who that someone is, but <laughs> I really like that. And it's quite roomy. This also is going to extend. It has a leaf and two extra chairs that come with it. Normally I would say that these high-end coaches drink six, feed four, and sleep two, but that's definitely wrong with the Dutch Star here with this booth dinette. So I've put in the two extensions and look, you can easily, I've got plenty of room for a partner here and another person here. So you can easily get six comfortably at this table. Now, another feature that I wanna show you that I think is really neat with this dinette is that when I start to pull, when I put this together, I've got the leaves here, obviously. And when we extend the table this far, we really need some support here. So what I love that Numar's done, this leg just merely magnets right up there, pushes in. So if you don't want both leaves in, it can look like this. Or you can go back to just our regular size dinette. Just like that. Along with the booth dinette, I also get storage underneath the seat. 
So I do have some nice storage here. Pots and pans, dish towels, whatever. Newmark gives you a lot of storage in this Dutch Star. So we've got cabinets all along the passenger side here. This is our AV cabinet, so we've got our DVD player and we can put our um, direct or dish um, receivers in here as well. Again, more storage, overhead cabinets on the passenger side and the driver side, and then we move into the beautiful kitchen. Adjustable shelves here, nice and deep. Little spice cabinet up here for us. And we have the Whirlpool microwave convection oven. And I love this. They've given us a little side opening door here. So no more fingerprints. And Numar's added an extra little latch here to keep that securely shut during travel. Got our nice solid surface countertop. And of course we have our push button. Extra counter space to work on. And again, full extension drawers. Another nice big drawer here above our dishwasher. And here we have our dishwasher. So nice feature, very big. You can put up these little uh, dividers. You can get like, I don't, I don't know, 12 plates in there or big pots and pans, little uh, storage for your silverware, nice and handy. And then one of the things that I just love the stove covers are also our cutting boards, so very useful. You can just flip those around. If you're not using your stove, have a great place to prep your food. Then we've got the induction cooktop with two burners. And then another favorite feature of mine is say I'm gonna make salmon. I love salmon, but I hate the way it makes my house smell. So I would much rather cook that outside. So if I'm going to do that, I'm going to go ahead and just take this cooktop out, unplug it, and plug it in outside and keep my coach nice and clean. Now, this is a new feature that they've added. They've given us this little appliance garage this year. So if you want to keep the coffee pot or the toaster out on the counter but don't want to see it all the time, there's a plug back in here, a 110 volt uh, plug, and you can just keep it plugged in, push it back in there and keep everything nice and clean. Notice the beautiful faucets. And then in our uh, Dutch Star, we've opted for the double sink with the solid surface sink. Comes standard with a stainless steel sink, two sides with a lower separation bar in that sink. Great storage, pull out shelf. So for us that are a little um, challenged in height, we can get to the very back of our shelves. More storage there. Little flip sink so we can put our scrubbers and uh, sponges there. And then I love this too. They've got the pull out shelves here. I can put all my cleaning supplies and a place for my garbage. Gotta love that. Tucked away in the cabinet. Then we have our residential refrigerator. We have water in the door here. It's nice and big. Lots of different compartments just like mine in my house. And again a nice big freezer as well. And then the 4369 comes with a really nice size pantry. I do love that Numar lights it and then you've got these full extension shelves and they are adjustable as well. So if you want to put your oatmeal, your cereal boxes, taller stuff here. I have a lot of customers that like to put their bigger pots and pans down here on the bottom so they can adjust those shelves if they need a little extra height. Here we are in the half bath. So we have a nice little cabinet here with the 110 outlet so we can put our, well, I'm not gonna put my, your spouse might wanna put his razor in here cause this might end up being his bathroom. Um, but it's nice and roomy. We have the vessel sink. They do the vessel sink at Newmar so that you have a little extra counter space all around the base of that sink. And then we have more storage here. Nice window and cabinets behind the commode 
we have our breaker one of our breaker boxes extra fuses and they label the fuses right here which makes it really nice so you know exactly what you need to change if you ever have run into a problem and then there's more storage behind the door i have to shut the pivot door to get to it but it's a nice amount of storage right behind the pivot door all right newmar has given us a new central vac this year so it's just inside of our half bath here so we can connect our hose here and vacuum the full coach and there's also the um, dust pan so i can just hit that with my foot and sweep all the dust right over here and it sucks it away it's like magic I have customers asking me all the time what these are. So this is a thermistor. This communicates with your thermostat to tell you how the coach is being cooled. So you can usually find one of these in each room. Now, how do you heat and cool the Dutch Star? So you're gonna have three AC units on a 4369. Well, really on anything that's 40 feet or larger in the Dutch Star, you'll have three um, AC units. And you can also use, they have heat pumps as well. So those heat pumps are good till about 40 degrees. Once you drop below 40 degrees, you're gonna have to turn on your Oasis system, which is your on-demand hot water and your furnace for the coach. And that runs off of diesel fuel. Now, the great thing about the air conditioning units in the Dutch Star is that they put them under, or they're behind these beautiful wooden panels. So you're not gonna see vents cluttering the ceiling of the Dutch Star. It's just beautiful, just the LED lights. And then if you wanna change the uh, filter on your return air, you just simply snap that down. It's held up by magnets. Take off the filter, wash it off, dry it, and then you stick it right back up. No screwing or unscrewing beautiful ceiling, super easy, and very efficient. Also, another thing you wanna think about is when your slides are in, your AC units are still fully exposed. So a lot of other manufacturers have those vents lining, cluttering the ceiling. When your slides come in, the first thing they're gonna cool is the top of the slides. I want them cooling the center of my coach. So this coach is gonna get really um, cool very fast. Notice that right above our cooktop and our microwave, we have our, one of our fantastic vents and it's got a beautiful wooden cover on it. That's one of three fantastic vents in this coach. So we have one here in the kitchen, one in the half bath and one in the master bathroom. As we move into the master bedroom, I wanted to point out the new uh, panel doors that they've put in with this beautiful glass finish. So I just think it's a really nice decorative touch. Very elegant along with the bedding package and the velocity package kind of feels like velvet it's really nice and soft you've got the king size bed on a sleep number mattress and then of course you've got great storage underneath the bed and your extra chairs for your dinette now on each nightstand you're going to have two 110 outlets and two usb outlets so that's really nice you've also got the beautiful accent lighting in your fascia here and we've got the reading lights, which are directional, so you can change those. And crawl onto the bed here. We've got some nice lighting options here too. So we have our reading lights, our ceiling lights, accent lights, the bedroom backlights, and the accent lights. They can all be turned off from here. And you also have your driver and passenger security lights. So if you hear a noise outside and you're a little nervous, you could just hit those lights and uh, scare away who's ever outside. Over the bed here, you've got some nice storage. It doesn't look like it's that deep, but it really is. It's nice and deep. There are no dividers in these cabinets, so you can really use this space and you're gonna get a lot more in there than you think, than it looks like you're gonna get. The master bedroom offers you nice, big wardrobe space. So you've got one on each side. They're really deep. You've got a 110 outlet in here as well. You'll also have the control here for your bedroom slide. And you've got the multiplex lighting system. We have that several places throughout the coach, but it's really nice to be able to control all the lights from here. And we have our DVD player here. Nice deep drawers all along here.
another Sony 4K HD TV. And again, look how nice and big that wardrobe is. All right, on to the master bathroom. This is a great master bathroom. It's so big and roomy. One of the things that Newmark does is they add this cathedral ceiling so it gives you extra height in the bathroom. Some of our taller customers really appreciate that extra space. Plus it just makes it feel roomier and more like your bathroom at home. Now we have the Whirlpool washer and dryer. And then we have the big double vanity here, two sinks. I like to call those marriage savers. We each have our own space and great uh, medicine cabinet here. And you've got your 110 outlets, beautiful faucets, another 110 outlet there and in one tin outlet in here. So I can just plug in my curling irons, turn them off, keep them right in here, keeps this vanity nice and tidy. I love that. Then you've got tons of storage underneath both sinks. Really nice and deep, very, a, a great amount of storage there. And nice, deep, full length drawers again. So you really do have all the comforts at home. Lots of space to fill. <laughs> and then you have your great big master closet here. You've got lights, you've got adjustable shelves over here. On this side, we always add the extra shoe um, storage area. That's what they call this. I know that your clothes are gonna be hanging here, but I still would rather have access to this space than just have it be a wall and lose that extra storage. And on this side, we have again, adjustable shelves again and are safe. Now, in the Dutch Star, one of the great features of the 4369 is this huge shower. It's 50 by 34, bigger than my shower at home. You have so much space in this huge shower. I really like that. You've got the little shower assist bar. That's another option. We always put it in. You just never know. It's a safety feature. I think it's great. And then we've got this great adjustable rain head. Um, shower faucet here and then you're probably wondering what this is here and this little blue button is so this is your shower miser this comes standard in the Dutch star and you know how we always turn on the water in our shower because we don't want to get in and have that cold water on us so you just simply turn this switch here and then you turn on your water it's gonna cycle that water through until it's warm when this lights up you just simply turn the knob and then you're gonna have hot water. So what does that do? It saves water if you're not connected to city water and it's not gonna fill your gray tank unnecessarily. I always like the option of a wand too. That's a nice little feature in, in any shower. All right, moving on to the commode area here. This is super important because this is our emergency egress door. Remember I talked about this on the exterior of the coach. Well, now I wanna show you how it works. So you can literally take this whole balance. It just is going to snap right off and unlock your door. Look at that, I got it the first try. <laughs> you just take off this panel here. It just has magnetic strips. That's how it's held on. Release the Velcro strap. And then you're just going to let the ladder fall to the ground. There you go, voila. I love to get your comments from my videos and one of the comments I get all the time is that you want to see the coach with the slides in. So I've got the slides in. Again, this is a 4369 Dutch Star and I can easily open the pantry, the door all the way, pull out those nice shelves almost all the way. I can get into my refrigerator, no problem, and my freezer. I can almost extend that all the way open. And then this is a great little feature that Numar has. It's the pivot door and you'll see why. Very easy. Numar does the pivot door. So you simply open that up and you've got tons of room to get in and out of that bathroom. Again, I can be working at my kitchen sink, using my microwave, sitting at the booth dinette here, cooking at the stove, plenty of room in this gorgeous coach. Newmar is one of the few manufacturers that does a full wall slide and on their full wall slide, 
they use the HWH slide mechanism, which is a hydraulic mechanism. And you can see the chain that they use. It's this nice beefy, looks like a Sherman tank. So I'm gonna go ahead and push this and you can watch it as it goes out. There's little rollers. They're not actually touching the floor. They're about an eighth of an inch off the floor, but they do protect the slide when it is in. And then it will drop down as it settles into place. On our passenger side, we still use an electric slide mechanism. So I'm gonna go ahead and extend this out here. I want you to watch the locking arm that comes up. So as I push, as I extend it out, that locking arm will go down. Here we have the HWH hydraulic leveling system. So right now it's showing a green dot and that we're in travel mode. Now I've gotten to my camping spot. I've put my slides out, so I'm safe to go ahead and put my jacks down. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit auto level. You can hear the air releasing from the coach. Now if we had a light here under our excessive slope, if that was lit up, that would let me know that I'm not going to be able to level in this location. But obviously that's not lit up, we're not gonna have a problem leveling. Now that this coach is level, the auto level light has gone off, it's blinking, and now we've got the four solid red dots, which means we're level. Now a little key when you're doing, um, when you're putting your jacks down, you wanna make sure you turn your ignition key to the left to accessory mode. If you just have it turned to the right, as soon as those jacks start to go down, it's gonna send off a beeping alarm sound and it's gonna keep that alarm on until your jacks are down. So you wanna do it the quiet way, accessory mode, then level. Okay, I've gone ahead and retracted my jacks. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the coach. And as soon as I do that, I'm probably gonna get a, a message that I need to air it up. And I'm always in a hurry, as you all know if you've watched in my videos, so I wanna air it up quickly. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my cruise control on, which is here on the handle. And as you can see, my RPMs are going up and it will help fill up those airbags quicker. Now moving on to the Allison transmission. There's a couple cool, cool things here that I wanna show you. First of all, we always have the R for race, haha, uh -huh, I'm kidding, R for reverse, neutral and drive and then we have the mode button so simply hit that button and you go into an energy saving mode so you do actually save a little bit on your fuel when you go into that mode button just hit that and let it be then if you press your plus and minus together you're going to get information about your transmission so it's going to let us know that we have uh, transmission oil 10 quarts we're high so that's good our oil life 99 percent Filters are all okay. Trans health is okay. No codes. Back to neutral. So that's pretty cool. Another thing that we can do is when we go ahead and put it into drive, we can actually change. When I put it into drive, we can go, we're in first gear and we can go up to sixth. Now, say I'm in the mountains and I only want to go up to fifth gear. I can change that right there so that I only go up to fifth gear. So some cool things that you can do right here at your Allison transmission panel. Here we have our tack dump button. You're really not gonna ever touch that. Um, you're normally just gonna keep that in auto mode. The only reason that you'd ever need to do that is just say you needed to put some more weight on the drive axle, you might dump your tag to help you um, get out of being stuck in mud or something like that. Um, we have our engine brake light on here and you have low, medium and high. We've got two cup holders, drink holders, that's really nice. And then we have our USB auxiliary inputs. So that's nice and handy for the driver. Feature that I really like on the Dutch Star is that we've got this toll window that's powered, easy up, easy down. Here we have our house and chassis battery boost. So that's bilateral this year. So basically if I come into my house and my batteries are totally dead and I need to um, 
basically bring them together so I can get enough of a charge that I can start my generator, this is the button that I would um, push right here. Here's our lights on and off. I'm gonna go ahead and leave them on. Our bright, so this will be for our dash. We can brighten that or we can make that more dim. So here we have the bright or we can just dim that down. Those are for our dash settings. Here are our fog lights and our high beams. And those show up on our digital dash as well. So fog lights are on. Now we have high beams on. And then here's our dome light. Obviously our parking brake here, our um, heated external mirrors right there. And these are the controls to adjust those mirrors so that they're perfect for us as we're driving down the road. Now this is one of the features I really love is the wireless charging pad. So my phone's been charging there all day. I should be at 100%. Yep, I sure am. And then one of the features I wanna talk about while we're here with my phone is, um, of course, we're on a Freightliner chassis. And one of the things that Freightliner is so great about is their um, service or their 24 seven service help us. So first thing I do, first thing I tell my customers with Freightliner chassis to do is to download this 24 seven app. I love it. It's super easy, user friendly. You can put customized things about your vehicle right there, give you a calendar. First of all, if you're on the road and you need to get to a Freightliner dealer, right there, locate a dealer or a 1-800 number. So hit that, you can call them. Easy as that, you don't even need to program this into your phone. And then if you wanna email them, right there, very easy. Service survey, you can tell them how your service went when you went for a visit. And then owner's HQ. This is the, the screen that I really like. First of all, the dash lights. How many of us get some of these warnings and we don't know what they mean? So just go through here and pick whatever you want. Wait to start indicator. Or let's see, this would be our cruise indicator is on. So that's just really handy. You're never gonna get a warning that you don't know what it means. It's gonna explain that for you right here. Another great thing about Freightliner is this 24 seven, they really mean that. They're serious about this. You can call them 24 seven and you're gonna get a you know, technician that has a 10 year, average tenure of about 18 years. You're not gonna be sent off to a call center in India where you can't understand the person that's talking. Um, you are gonna get a certified technician from Freightliner when you make that call. So here we are, we have our comfort drive knob. I talked about this a little bit while we were driving. And again, I'm in the parking lot here, so I've turned it down. I'm at like a one or a two, so I can easily turn my steering wheel with my pinky finger. It's really nice. And then when I'm on the freeway, I like to have it six, so it's a little bit tighter fill. Um, again, when you're backing into uh, your space, once you've lined your coach up and you're straight, let go of the steering wheel. It's gonna always go back to center, take you straight back. Another thing about that, especially for new RVers, because it's happened to um, customers before and I hate to see it happen. Every time you park, you wanna make sure your tires are turned straight. Otherwise, you know, we're on air suspension here. If you got your tires turned out and your house slowly, the air goes out and it sits down on those tires, you're gonna rip out your fiberglass. So you never have to worry about that with the Numar because your tires are always gonna go back to center. I'll show you how easy it is to back this little um, baby up and um, I'll show you what the comfort drive wheel does as well. All right, now that I've got myself all lined up straight, I'm just going to take my hands off the wheel and I should go straight back into my spot. Watching my camera, my 360 and my rear view camera all the time and my mirrors, of course. So many helps. That's what makes driving these big Class A coaches so easy. Now I wanna go over some of the smart wheel controls here. So we have our courtesy lights. Those are just going to illuminate our marker lights. So if we wanna let a trucker know that it's safe for him to pull in front of us, we can just fat flash these three times and he'll know that he can safely get in front of us. We also have our windshield wipers. These are great. Obviously you just have your 
high and your low, but you can also set the um, intervals. So you would just hit this button, count one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, count one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, and then you've got your uh, windshield wiper fluid here that you can wash off your windshield. And then over here, now these are the controls that are going to work with our new um, digital dash. So right here, I can scroll through my trips. I can go to my gauges and then I'm going to hit OK and I'm going to be able to get see different things here that it will scroll through. So say I hit the barometric pressure, I hit OK, and then I hit OK again to save if I want to save that. Go back to my house, I'll go to fuel economy. So I like this as distance to empty. I like to know how many miles do I have before I need to fill up again. 515 miles, I think that's kind of neat. Scroll back through, vehicle configuration. Diagnostics. I can find more information out about my coach here. And then menu off. So basically I have lots of options and I control those all here at the steering column. Okay, here we have a button for our pedals. So I can move that forward and backwards depending on what's comfortable for me. So my foot's not, so it's not, you know, dangling. It can rest on the um, tile floor. Our driver's side visor, up and down. Now that's only gonna go this far down when I have my ignition on. Then we have our front day shade, which I have all the way down. Our night shade, docking lights. Overhead fans, those are right here. And I can set those to low, medium, or high. Our front fan, again, high or low or off. This is where I can start the generator, right here from the dash. The entry door lock, I can lock the door here and unlock it. The air horn, so I have my wussy horn, or if I want to really peep want people to get out of my way, lay on that horn. Our courtesy lights and my visor. Obviously our ignition here, 12, 12 volt outlet, our AC dash and heat controls, and then we have two nice little storage drawers here. We put our keys or whatever we need to there. And then here's the control for the 360 camera. So I can flip right now, we're on the 360 view, top and rear. Now I'm just gonna flip through top and sides, top and left, top and right, top and front, rear focus, front focus, top and rear. Now on this menu also, I've got my radio, DVD, USB, Sirius, XM radio, Bluetooth, and I can go to my, obviously my radio here, my navigation, or back to my camera. We have our front auxiliary, which is gonna be right here. We can plug in or our auxiliary for our videos. So whatever's playing on a TV, we can play it through the house. Our iPod and then the Rand McNally. Rand McNally and then our setup screen. This is our rear camera screen. So we can set the brightness, contrast, color, tint, etc. If we wanna set the what we're looking at. So this is our second camera, third camera, 
rear camera or camera one so we can select what we see there and then this is the volume control so this camera obviously is color it's our rear camera and I can actually hear the person that's talking to me if they're in the back of the coach through this <laughs> see isn't that great all right, I've got the engine running. I'm just gonna go over here and press down with my left foot. There's a pedal there that allows me to adjust the steering wheel. So I like it kind of sitting in my lap and we're ready to hit the road. I'm gonna put it in drive, push the parking release and we're ready to go. I'm just waiting to pull out of National Indoor RV Centers here in Louisville, Texas. And the, one of the most important things that you need to think about when you're driving to Class A for the first time is where your turning point is. So my front axle is behind me. The center of that front axle is where my turning point is. So I'm not going to start my turn until the center of my front axle is at the turn. I've got my turn signal on so I can see down the full right side of the coach. I go ahead and pull out straight until my front axle and now I start my turn. I'm going to watch my back tires and I can totally see if I'm going to come close to hitting that curb or not. And then when you're driving down the lane, the first thing is going to feel awkward. You're going to feel like you're too big for the lane, but obviously we fit in the lane and um, I was told always that you want to hug the left line of your lane. So. Don't stay in the left lane, you'll have everyone mad at you if you do that, but you want to hug that left line. And you'll get comfortable with your mirrors and you'll be able to see right where you are in your lane. All right, so I'm driving, I've got my, exhaust, my engine brake or exhaust brake on, and I've got three just different options here. I've got low, medium, high. I've got it on low, so it's not as jerky when I go, when I take my foot off the pedal, the coach will automatically start to break and slow down. It's very gentle when I've got it on low. When I have it on high or, or medium, you're going to notice a little bit more of a jerk, but I am slowing down without putting my foot on the brake. Now, another thing I want to talk about while we're driving here is Newmar's Comfort Drive. So that's a patent um, that Newmar has on Comfort Drive, which is a computer-aided driving assist. So what it does is if there is a strong wind today, um, pushing against the coach, the computer would fill that and then adjust for it automatically. So I'm merely just keeping the coach going straight down the road. I shouldn't feel a lot of tension in my shoulders. I should be able to drive longer. I have customers that have gone from a different manufacturer to a Newmar with Comfort Drive and they said, I mean, they could drive twice as long with no fatigue. So it's huge for those that haven't had it. Another thing that Comfort Drive does has a dial from one to six. When I'm on the freeway or a road like this, I usually like to have it up more five or six. I like the steering wheel to feel kind of tight and stiff. Um, when I'm in a parking lot trying to park, I'll pr turn it down to like one or two and I can literally turn the steering wheel here with my pinky finger. Now as I'm backing up, once I'm in that parking lot, I can be at a hard turn. I've got the coach lined up and I just want to go straight back into my parking spot take my hands off the wheel and I'll go straight back. Another feature of Comfort Drive. Right now we're looking at the rear view camera which is a color monitor here. I also have uh, the 360 camera up. So this is really, really cool. This is my bird's eye view and I can change the selection of what I'm seeing just simply by clicking here, top left, the top and the right, top and front, I can see that right in front of me, so I don't need that look right now. Rear focus. And then I can just see front focus, top and rear. That's typically where I'd keep it, but I do have my rear camera right here. So I may put it on the center one here where I get my left and my right side with the 360 view. I'm entering the freeway here, so I'm going to go ahead and put my left blinker on. When I do that, I'm going to be able to see down the full length of the left side of my coach. This is really nice, so as I'm 
entering the freeway, I can see what's coming at me. I also can look at my 360 camera and see it there as well. So really, I've got two different ways plus my mirrors to see that it's safe to come into my lane as I enter the freeway. And before you know it, you're gonna be comfortable. See, I've got a big truck coming up on my side. I'm not gonna panic. Initially, when I was brand new at driving the, <laughs> the Class A diesel, that would have made me nervous. And now, I mean, it doesn't take long. 15 minutes in, you get comfortable. Before you know it, got your drink here, taking a sip, and heading down the road. They really are fun to drive. You've got this huge windshield that's tinted in front of you, and it's a great way to see this beautiful country that we live in. The Dutch Star comes with cruise control. So the cruise control has moved from, it used to be on the wheel, now it's on the little, uh, actually my turn switch. So I'm just gonna turn it on with a, I push a little button. The green dial will show up on my new digital dash, and so I know that it's on. Once I get up to, let's say, we're gonna go up to 65 miles per hour here. When I get up to 65 where I wanna be, I'm gonna go ahead and just push that button in and set my cruise control. Again, now it's super easy, even easier to drive because I can really can enjoy what's around me. Not have to worry about keeping the same speed because it's gonna do that for me. At National Indoor RV Centers, we don't recommend that you go over 70 miles per hour um, just for the safety of your tires, and we want to protect our customers at all costs, of course, so that's what we recommend. All right, as I'm driving along here, I've got the generator on, obviously the engine's running, and I've got the Beyonce air on. <laughs> um, so with all of those running, it's still as quiet as a luxury car. My decibel reading says 78.1. So quiet like, like a luxury car and it drives like a luxury car. Between the independent front suspension, the uh, star foundation, the ultra steel stair tag, our airbags, and the V-Ride suspension, this is a breeze to drive. Very quiet, very comfortable, nice smooth ride with on our big Michelin tires. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of the 4369 Newmar Dutch Star as much as I have. Now you're probably wondering what it cost you to get into this beautiful coach. Now the manufacturer only allows us to tell MSRP, which is the manufacturer's suggested retail price, or MAP pricing, which is minimum advertised price. So that price is 466 337 if you want to find out what National Indoor RV Centers can sell you this coach for, then pick up your phone, give us a call at 469-277-1330. You can also visit us on our website, nirvc.com. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe. And I hope you've enjoyed watching this. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Come and see us at National Indoor RV Centers.